What's good everybody, it's Kobe Bowie, back again for another video, and I know it's been a couple of years since I've posted on here, but I'm back, needless to say, and uh, a special what's up to my fellow Randall University students, as well as faculty and staff, any of you guys that may be watching, welcome, and first I wanted to say I hope everybody's holding up well in the midst of the circumstances right now. I know it's a big change, a big challenge, um, a big adjustment for all of us. And so, at the end of the day, though, it is what it is. God is still faithful. God is still in control. And, you know, he's the same through it all. You know, the world may change. Our lives may change. But God is forever the same. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So, stay encouraged. Keep grinding. Keep pushing. And, you know, we're going to get through all of this with God's our strength. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the internal battle that is within us. And so the enemy, he is after our minds. So if you think about the mind, that is where all seeds try to take root, whether positive or negative, righteous or unrighteous. That is where they all try to form. And so the enemy's objective is if he can succeed in our minds, then our actions will follow. And ultimately, he's trying to take away the word of our God, word of God in our hearts, and make us feel like we're separated from him. But at the end of the day, he's a liar, and God is our strength and our stronghold. And through him, we overcome the wicked schemes of the enemy. And particularly, one of those schemes right now is isolation. And he wants us to feel trapped. He wants us to, you know, go back to our old ways. Uh, the Bible talks about uh, as a dog goes back to its old vomit, so does a man go back to his old wicked ways. So that's that's the enemy's main objective now uh, with so many people being in a isolated state. But God wants to flip that into solitude and peace through him. Uh, and to understand that he's with us, you know, when we it may seem like we've lost so many things recently, but God is still with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. So uh, God, take comfort in God. He is our comforter. He is everything that we need. And then he is what we need, period. So, uh, yeah, I have a couple scriptures for you guys as well. And the first one was Psalm 37, 4. And if I can flip to it real quick. And so it says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. So, delighting in God, man, that's basically realizing that God is your source for everything uh, and realizing that he is your joy he is he wakes you up every morning so why not try to spend time with him why not try to submit to him and surrender to him uh, every day as soon as you wake up you know before you go to sleep and all of that so uh, yeah that was the first scripture and another one I have is first Thessalonians uh, 517 and that says, hold on, 1 Thessalonians 5.17, that says, to pray without ceasing. I know that's a short verse and I just flipped to it, but <laughs> yeah, pray without ceasing, that is another way that you can delight in God, and just meaning be in constant commu communication with Him. Um, he already knows everything that's going on in our lives but he wants us to bring bring those things to him and trust him with those things because a lot of times we put our trust in things of the world you know things outside of him and uh that's just a reaffirmation to talk to god and to trust him with your life so and lastly this scripture is first no not a first or a second or anything it is Philippians 4, 8, and it says, 
Finally, brothers, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, and whatsoever things are of good report, and if there be any virtue, think on these things. Oh, if there be any virtue or any praise, think on these things. And so, meaning just stay positive, uh, focus on, you know, the bright side, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side. Uh, it always depends on your perspective and the context of which you look on things. So, that was today's content for you guys. I hope all y'all can continue to rock with me. Uh, I appreciate all y'all for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to be making videos in the near future. So, God bless you and much love. Never saw nothing. This here is like the tallest building. Let me fall from it and become a selfless example of what the selfish example is when you're living.